Hey guys, welcome to the show. Uh, today what we're going to be making is a French classic, beef bourguignon, or beef burgundy. Okay, now for this we're going to need a few simple ingredients. There's a lot of steps, but it's well worth it in the end. We're going to need a large carrot cut up, a handful of button mushrooms uh, quartered, two stalks of celery sliced, of course the beef. Uh, traditionally beef brisket is used, but if you just use a stew meat or a cut up roast, whatever you have on hand is perfectly alright. We're going to be making this in the Instant Pot, so it's going to come out lovely and moist and fall apart in your mouth anyway. Um, two large onions chopped up. Now, traditionally, one would use uh, scallions or, you know, those little onions. We don't have none of that, so we're just going to go with regular Vidalia. And lardons. Lardons are actually just cut up bacon. So, you just get a couple of strips of bacon and cut them up nice and fine. Now, for the spices, we're going to be using bay, rosemary, and thyme. Now, we're going to be using uh, salt and pepper to taste, of course, but, you know, just to start with that. Now, the most important part is our wine. Now, a nice strong red, something that you would drink at the table, is what you want to use. Uh, traditionally, you would use a burgundy, but if you don't have that on hand, uh, any sort of red will work just as well. Okay, let's get over to the pot. Okay, so what we have done is we've added just a splash of water to the bottom of the pan, as you can see the steam coming up, and we're going to add our bacon. What we're going to do is we're going to render down the bacon and cook it until it's a little bit crispy, and water helps facilitate that. So, let's just fast forward there. Okay, now we've removed the bacon and left the grease in, and we're going to be adding our beef. Now, we're just going to pop that in. We don't want to overcrowd it because we're going to be browning it. Mmm. Oh, the smell. Ooh, there's some more there. Okay, now from there, we're going to be seasoning it. But we don't want to season it too much. A little salt and pepper to taste. Let's use that fresh black ground pepper. And what we're doing, we're just browning the meat because we want to give it a nice uh, Maillard reaction. Flavorful. Basically, do this in batches until all the meat is browned. And then we'll get on to the next step. Okay, now we've had the, bre the meat is fully browned. Absolutely smells like it's wonderful. To this, we're going to be adding our onions. And we're going to add our celery. And we're just going to sweat them for a few minutes just to soften them up a little bit. Okay, and as you see here, we have the vegetables and whatnot all sweated down. The meat is brown beautifully. The smell is really intoxicating. Now to this, we're going to add two cups of red wine. Well, two and a half cups. Oh, I was sampling the wine, so that, that slipped out. Don't mind me. And we're going to bring this up to a simmer, and then we're going to let the magic happen. Okay, now we got that simmered and reduced quite a bit. Uh, to this, we're going to add our carrots. And we're going to add our bacon. And like I said, lard on, whatever. Okay, now we're going to add the mushrooms in now. By rights, you're supposed to saute them in butter and uh, garlic, but I don't want to. And cooking is all about like what you have and what you want to do. So about four cloves of minced garlic, because, you know, why not? And we're going to add, now traditionally you use a bouquet gani, which is basically fresh herbs. Uh, you would use a couple of sprigs of rosemary, a couple of sprigs of thyme, and a bay leaf. But I'm using just dried herbs, so you don't have to bother with that silliness. Okay. We add about a cup of water. Give it a little stir. Now you're going to want to fish that bay leaf out, unless you use the powdered bay leaf, which is like a thing. So, you know, there's all that loveliness. 
Okay, now we got that in, in the Instant Pot. So, we're gonna cover that up and we're gonna put it on for, well, cancel. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the meat function. Well, the meat stew meat. That'll put it on for about 35 minutes. Now, we want to make sure our pressure valve is in the off position. And let's go and wait for 35 minutes and see what happens. Okay, now it's done the full 35 minute uh, time. And we're going to quick release which is always fun and dramatic. I always use my label to do the thing because I don't want my hands to get degloved. Don't Google that, but degloving your hands sucks. It actually happened to like some of my ancestry and others and regaling the stories of it since my, since it was a wee little barn. Anyway, so we're just doing this, which is kind of fun. You play with the scene with your thing. Don't put your hands there. Oh, it smells nice. Mmm, that's not that soft fragrant. Lovely. Mm. Aromatic. Aromatic, yes. We're both half cut, so don't worry about it. A little bit. <laughs> it's probably dangerous, so don't do it. Unless you have a couple of glasses of wine. Exactly. Your yeah. instinct for danger decreases with the amount of wine you drink. Smells nice. Beautiful. Okay, and the seal should be broken. <laughs> How biblical <laughs> does that sound? <laughs> okay, and we do that because we don't want to get our hand cut off. And look, if you put your like little thing like in the little hole, this is actually like a storage option. How cool is that? Didn't know that. No counseling. Yeah. <laughs> so, can we see it? Is, is it like on the And there we have it. We have our lovely beef bon marron. Okay, so we're gonna plate that a little bit. Now, if you want to serve this with some, oh, bay leaf goes bye-bye. If we wanted to serve that with a little mashed cauliflower or a low-carb noodle or something lovely like that, that's what we would do. So, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and click that little bell and comment. And just love me in general because I'm drunk. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching. Love you.